Some interesting news today out of the Supreme Court of Canada. Remember a couple of years ago during COVID when the trucker showed up in Ottawa and Justin Trudeau and Christian Freeland were scared? Not scared of any violence, but scared of being exposed for who they really are. And then they decided to enact the Emergency Act, freezing people's bank accounts. Well, as of today, the Supreme Court of Canada officially decided that what Justin Trudeau was unconstitutional and violated our Charter of Rights. If you are not a Trudeau fan, this is great news for you. If you do like Justin Trudeau, well, tough for you, I guess, because, I mean, it's, it's only going to get worse from here for him now. It's also very likely that he's going to get sued. And I hope he does, and I hope they sue him for as much as they can get. He should probably even be doing jail time. What used to happen to politicians when they violated your rights was much, much worse than jail. I'm not saying we should go back and do any of those things, but should he be charged? Yes. Should he resign? Yes. Should he be put in jail? Or at least face some criminal charges? Yes, he should. Because that's what happens when you act like a tyrant dictator, a communist wannabe, which is what he is. I wonder what's going to happen in the next polls. You'll probably still see 15-20% of Canadians who are absolutely idiots support him. But hey, there's an idiot born every day, right? So you can't get mad at all of them. It's, it's, this almost puts a seal to the fact that Pierre Polyev is not only going to win, but win a majority. It already looked like he was going to win a majority, but it's, it's, I mean, it's over for Trudeau now. There's so many things that he's done. High taxes, uncontrolled inflation, the housing market sucks, rent has doubled, admiring the Chinese Communist Party. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And then, of course, you have the Emergencies Act, his worst offense. And he's going to pay for it, as he should. And I'm glad that the Supreme Court of Canada finally decided to make the right decision. What's interesting is not only what happens to Trudeau, but what happens to the Liberal Party now? It's going to take a long time for them to recover because everyone for at least the next few years is going to attach Trudeau and the Liberals' names together. That was your leader. You elected that guy. We're not trusting you again. How do we know the new person you pick isn't going to be just like him? Some other poster boy or some poster boy from the WEF. Which, another thing I want to say about that, too, is Pierre Polyev came out yesterday and, and denounced the, w, the WEF. And he said that none of his cabinet members will be working for that organization because they are a corrupt, global, elite hypocrites. A group of corrupt... A group of corrupt hypocrites who use, you know, their these ideas and their... You know, they like to get all emotional about the climate change. We need to save the country. We need to save the earth. We need to do our part as they fly around in private jets. High taxes, inflation, double the rent. And what are they doing with the money? Sending it to other countries. And are you taking private jets, taking vacations? Trudeau has embarrassed himself and this country for long enough. And it is time, finally, for him to go.